Hey folks, Robbie Payne here again with Chrome Unbox. Coming at you today with something a little bit different. Um, this is an unboxing, but this is going to be the actual retail packaging. Uh, this is my first Chromebook Pixel, and I wanted to kind of give you all my uh, initial take as I opened it up. It is used. I bought it off eBay uh, from a guy that didn't use his very often, but he did not have the box. Uh, and I got a killer deal on it, so um, I wasn't going to complain too much. So the boxing that we are uh, unpacking today obviously is not Chromebook uh, packaging, uh, but instead it's just a good old post office box. Now, uh, I'm kind of doing this on a whim. I just got the thing in and figured, eh, I might as well put this on there. I wasn't originally going to do an unboxing for this one. Um, just because I don't have the original boxing, and I know a lot of you, when you see stuff, you want to see what that original boxing looks like and holds. And so, uh, we're going to treat this more as a as an initial impressions kind of video uh, because I've yet to touch one of these devices yet. Uh, the Best Buys around me have never had them, so I've never had any ability to actually uh, get my hands on one. So this literally will be my first uh, my first encounter with the Pixel. So, of the things I've heard about the device, one of them is that the charging block is kind of monstrous. So, let's see. It is big, uh, but not crazy. Uh, about the same size as the block for the Asus, uh, for instance. Uh, the Asus Chrome Box is what I'm speaking of, and some of Asus's other, window, other Windows products. Um, yeah, pretty standard fare there. It is kind of heavy. Um, so. It accounts for something, I suppose. Because the biggest uh, drawback on this device, um, as most of you probably already know, is battery. Uh, most people report getting four to five hours on a charge with this guy. And compared to Haswell Chromebooks, that's not really that great. Um, package it up well, it's good. Uh, and so, all that being said, I, I really, I've been looking on eBay a lot uh, for one of these guys and didn't want to spend the twelve to fourteen or fifteen hundred dollars that they cost retail, but was willing to part with around eight hundred for one, and I've I've lost many of auctions and won one the other day for around that price. So um, I was pretty excited to get my hands on it because I've gotten to the point, guys, where I work on a Chromebook every day, all day. Haven't turned my Windows machine on in uh, in quite some time, to be honest with you. So. Um, I figured it was time to spend some money and, and get a Pixel, especially after the last event um, pretty much showed that they are not planning on making another Chromebook Pixel. I know it's it's been rumored that they might and then rumored that they won't and blah, blah, blah. It just looks apparent to me that that's probably not going to happen. So um, I'll say from pictures, comparatively, uh, way more svelte than I expected. Um, it, it just looks like it's chunkier in, in pictures and videos and and so, man, sleek as can be. Um, and my unit here has got a couple slight, not even really dings, um, maybe some discoloration kind of stuff. It might just actually clean right up. So, nope, that's, that's all going to come off there too. Just not very wiped down. So, but, um, you know, this smooth chrome logo back here, the awesome LED lights up top, completely aluminum, um, completely closed up. And, man, I got to say, uh, completely gorgeous, even with all the uh, little spots on there. Like I said, come off with a wipe down. Um, so first blush, the I love one finger opening. Uh, for those of you who watch my videos, I'm a huge fan of that. Uh, and then the screen immediately. Holy cow! Um, how pretty is this thing? Jeez, um, viewing angles are perfect. I mean, I'm I'm looking at it from up top, over on the side, um, probably see it on the video. I, mean, I can just turn this thing, as long as I'm not catching a ton of glare, it, it literally is 180 degrees in, in all directions. So, um, wow, man. I've read about the build quality and heard about it and thought about it and all that kind of stuff for a long time. And uh, wow, this thing is, uh, it's, it's impressive. Um, so yeah, it'll bear a little clean up. Hopefully it'll look a little I sure won't have some of the flex on it by the time I get done with it. Um, wow, what a screen, guys. Um, it lives up to that. And, and, and open, just wow, what a pretty device. Um, trackpad feels 
great. Uh, the clicking is great. Uh, keys feel really good and responsive. Um, let's see if we're getting that LED awesomeness on the back. Yep. So we got the multicolored LED light on the back. Um, basically, this is all I wanted to do for this unboxing was just to give you my literally my raw in person our impressions of the device opening up out of the box and wow um, yeah other than probably a MacBook Pro never seen a device or felt a device that felt as premium as this already and I haven't even used it yet um, but holy moly uh, just beautiful obviously touch screen um, part of the pixel experience and that uh, three by two display really cool um, and way less uh, boxy again than it feels and probably even looks on the video uh, in person the thing just strikes a better profile than it does in any picture or video I've seen. So if you haven't seen one, uh, try to get your hands on one. I'm going to do a full kind of review of it afterwards. I know there's been tons of reviews and the device is eight, nine months old now. So I'm not going to be doing anything new or talking about probably anything new that anybody else hasn't. But uh, hopefully my uh, unique experience with this device will be that I'm a daily driver Chromebook user now. Um, I do everything from my Chromebook, literally. I don't, I don't use anything else. And so uh, coming from that perspective saying, hey, here's where the Pixel really shines, I don't know, it may sway a few of you to at least look on eBay and see where you might be able to find one for a uh, $400 or $500 discount over, um, over what it retails for. And uh, while I hope that one day uh, Google does make a follow-up to this guy, uh, maybe a mid-range and a high-range follow-up. Uh, I'm not holding my breath at this point. I, I really feel like they made this as a reference design and moved on. Um, but I would love to see, even if they reproduce this exact thing with just a Haswell class processor in it, uh, same i5, same price, all that kind of stuff, but if it had 10 or 11 hours of battery life, that would be a huge difference. So um, I'll, I'll use it for a week or so, I'll give you my impressions, and obviously I've spent some money on this, so plan on this being my Chromebook of choice for uh, some time. So hopefully the battery life isn't completely awful, but usually I'm on a charger near a charger or, any, or near an outlet anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Um, keep it locked to the, to the channel. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe. There will be more coverage of this and other Chromebooks. I've got the Samsung Chromebook 2 on the way whenever it stops being delayed and shows up. I've got uh, uh, Chrome bases and other stuff on the way as well. We'll be reviewing, unboxing, and talking about all those things. And now we've got the uh, official Google reference device to kind of stack them all up against. Um, so uh, it'll be an interesting review for sure. Uh, keep it locked here. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.